6C, and this is Rave Alert Service Agreement. Mr. Ty, good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> so since 2007, December 2007, we have had code red um, service in Orleans County. Um, so that's roughly 17 years. Um, over the years, there's a lot of companies that have been involved in solo a few times, uh, done some mergers. Um, code red has served us well. Um, but over the past couple of years, we've had some um, some, some hiccups, some issues with, with calls um, not, not going out. Um, uh, we had one just recently where we had a call that didn't, um, the call went out, but there wasn't a message for people on the phone. So anyhow, the um, <clears throat> customer service, as the company's grown, they've kind of had a shift from a government, um, from their government accounts, more focused on their um, private sector. Um, so with the change, um, and again, in 2007, Code Red was the standard bearer. A lot of technologies caught up with them. So we have consistently looked to make sure we're providing the best product and the best service to Lowndes County. Um, and so this past year, in evaluating all of the um, uh, options out there, uh, Rave is, uh, is a company that they just acquired by Motorola. Um, so we've got that back in from Motorola um, and Rave, for, um, we feel provides a, a better product, and provides us a little more um, usability, um, user interfaces are, are easier. So we don't lose anything, but we feel like we gain some functionality. Um, and so this is a proposal to switch from, from Code Red and go to Rave. One of the reasons we bring that to you now, this contract um, approved will take place uh, we go into effect in July, uh, which means it would come out of, it would, we wouldn't be paying for two services out of the same same budget. We would we already budgeted for, for Code Red in the upcoming budget request, so assuming that it stays in the budget. Um, this would allow us to go ahead and um, start the implementation with RAVE um, to have some overlap, because um, that's one of the, the, the um, key things is going to be getting people migrated over Getting everybody um, signed up that were on, was on Code Red, get them signed up in the new system. Um, so it gives us, there'll be a time frame where we have both systems in place um, so that we don't, we don't have that overlap, especially in hurricane season. We don't think about it. Missing alerts. <coughs> uh, another, another thing that I'm sure the commissioner will appreciate is um, Rave. The um, quotes you have for you is currently about 4,000 less than we'd be paying for Code Red this year. Um, and that includes, there's like a $2,000 setup fee. So after after the first year, it actually will start saving us about 6000 a year. So it's um, a complement product. Um, it's more cost effective. And we, like I said, we feel like it provides us a little more flexibility to use it in some other areas. Um, so we get kind of the, the best cost benefit. Um, so I'd be glad to answer any questions you have about the switch from Code Red to Ray and the, the quote you have. Uh, so, Mr. Ty, this will require that the citizens actually sign up for RAID. There's not an automatic transfer of their information from one to the other. There is not. And so there's, there's two things um, that I, so the main reason that there's not going to be an automatic transfer, Code Red will give us what um, information was um, what information they have that they can provide. But on our sign up page, we had a, had a um, box that citizens could check if they wanted to to keep their information private. And when it says private, it even needs even private from us. So, if, so the people that check, they want to keep their information private. Um, you know, as part of that privacy um, policy, Code Red can't provide that to us. Um, I, but I think one of the, there'll, there'll be two benefits. One, it'll It'll kind of help us clean up our list because we've got a lot of people that are still on the code red that signed up and moved away or, or for whatever reason are no longer in the area. And uh, um, Rave, along with a lot of the other um, uh, vendors now, they have a um, service that I can't remember what they call it, but basically they're able, to, you, when we started with code red, we were able to, if you had a number in the white pages and phone book, we could automatically pull that information from very few people have landlines anymore. Um, so now they have the same ability to go, go back. If you have a public 
cell phone number, they can get most people um, cell phones. So it will, we'll, we'll still have a huge database even without people doing anything, but obviously we'll make sure we get the most updated information. Um, we'll do a, a very big marketing campaign to try and get people. Um, you know, we'll actually use Code Red and send out Code Red calls frequently and say, hey, we're switching to Brave. So if you want to continue receiving these calls, click here. And, and it, it is, um, it's, in some ways, it's easier for the citizens to sign up. They can actually sign up just through, through text, which we didn't have an option in Code Red. But it also gives them several, you know, for, the, for those that are, that are a little more tech savvy, when you go in, you can, you can really get as many numbers you want to. If you're like, hey, I want to get calls from in the middle of the night, um, you can turn those off. You can select which which um, watches and warnings you get. There's actually a longer list, so they can they can kind of select and, and pick what they want to get when they don't. And uh, so it gives them a lot more flexibility as how they get the system to function for them too. Any other questions? All right, we'll move on to the crisis.